Well, we're here in, uh, in Prince George uh, for a very important announcement uh, with respect to safer transportation options for Highway 16. Uh, really excited uh, to be here on, uh, for two reasons. Well, on the one hand, uh, we, uh, uh, we have announced an additional $2 million of funding uh, to, to go towards the five-point action plan that we have for Highway 16. Uh, uh, that's a, uh, that, that brings the total investment available uh, uh, to, to $5 million. Uh, and secondly, we, uh, uh, we've made tremendous progress in beginning to implement the plan. Uh, we're going to be able to uh, provide uh, transit service now, uh, connecting every single community along Highway 16 from Prince Rupert to Prince George. That's because uh, 16 local governments have stepped up and have signed memorandums of understanding with BC Transit to provide that service. That's $2.4 million of transit expansion that will connect uh, all of these communities. When, when I stop to pick, up, to pick somebody up because I'm afraid for their safety and their vulnerability, I then become vulnerable, right? And I, I, ask, I ask the women, so why, why are you hitchhiking? And their, their answer usually is, I need to get to the doctor, I need to get to court. I need to get my baby some milk. I need, you know, and things like that. And and um, so it'll it it will mitigate some of that vulnerability along the highway. Uh, nothing can be done that addresses the, uh, the 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 deep and profound sense of loss and pain that so many families on this corridor have experienced uh, through the, the loss of loved ones. Uh, we really believe that this plan uh, is, uh, is going to go a long ways to ensuring that this corridor uh, is as safe as it possibly can be for everyone who lives and works uh, through this corridor in the months and the years ahead.